Boys, girls, guys, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slay Salty, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Cage Lock. Here is my boy Nick. Introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? How we doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Doing fantastic, actually. Um, but yeah, ready to get some more cage locking going on. I will give the people the team recap just to show that I did some grinding. Uh, in between recordings, I evolved an Aron I had in my party up to an Agron, grinded him all the way up, and then everybody else just got a couple levels. That's pretty much it. But that's why I have an Agron on my team. Wanted to get that out of the way before we dive in. Um, yeah. Nice. Nice little team recap there. Yeah. My team hasn't changed from the end of last episode, <laughs> so I'm not even going to bother, bother with the team recap. Pretty much. There we go. Palkia, Charizard, Manaphy, and Togekiss. <laughs> That's the team. Oh yeah, the Togekiss. Uh, unfortunately, my Agron did get the ability Stall when it evolved, so it always goes last. But it's a slow Pokemon, so it honestly doesn't hurt it that bad. Um, but where do we just? Are we good to just go to the? go to Kanto now like go to the Elite Four I feel like we don't have to do anything else story wise yep I'm, I'm already here I'm already making my way ah uh, nice I don't think I got an encounter on Route 27 so I'm gonna try to catch this shell gun that I just ran into because I would not mind a Salamance I would I'd be okay with that why is my uh, game not letting me use waterfall that's a good question Oh, it would help if I actually taught somebody waterfall and not surf. <laughs> I wasn't going to suggest that because I was like, I'm, I'm sure he's done that. <laughs> no, I taught somebody surf instead of waterfall. Hi. Ah, there you go. Not not quite the right move. Nope. Um, well, I just caught I just caught the Shellgon on the first Pokeball, so I could potentially have a Salamance oh if, I get, God, to if so I get to grind. Nice. <laughs> I really needed a Dragon type, honestly. That's the only thing super effective against Palkia. Uh, so if I get the opportunity before the next fight, I'm definitely grinding this boy up. I'm just gonna, not even gonna front, not even gonna lie a little bit about it. Oh, um, that's true. We're gonna be getting encounters, but we can't really grind them up because we're probably gonna be in the Elite Four. Oh yeah, if we get, because if we go into the Elite Four, that's true. Ooh, that's, yeah. Because, uh... Is the way we're doing it, the team we go into the Elite Four with is the team we have to bring to the final fight? I think that's uh, how... I know a lot of cage locks do it. So, like, the six yeah. you bring in, or is the six you bring to the final fight, if you lose a Mon, you lose that team member for the final fight. Oh, really? I was... Okay. Oh, God. That's uh, that's pretty scary. I mean, um, I don't. I, I like, I like, I like the high risk, high reward of that. Like, there's, there, it, it kind of ups the stakes a little bit. But it means you can't hide you... anything in the box. That's the only thing. This is true. I mean, I again, I kind of I mean, if you think about it, we can when we do regular cage matches, we can bring any Pokemon from the box. Yeah. So, so that's why I'm open to anything. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! My encounter in the falls. Holy crap! Is a uh, is another legendary. Let's let's see if I can catch it. And I have the team of legends. What what legend is it? Now, I, it's Cresselia, the bulkiest oh of boys. Oh god! I don't have <gasps> anything for that. <laughs> okay, I just I did I just put it on a timer, which is pretty bad idea. I realized I could have put it to sleep instead, but oh well. Um, you know, if you catch that, you have more legends than me now. Yeah, I'll have three. I only I'll have, have Palkia and Manaphy because I lost my, uh, I lost my, uh, legendary you encounter. Celebi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you lost your Celebi as well. I lost my Don't Celebi forget. as well. <laughs> my legendary forget. encounter, it roared me. Yeah. Or whirlwind oh, it. One of the two. Alright. Oh, no, it teleported. I'm... It was Deoxys. Oh, Deoxys teleport. Oh, yeah, that was rough. Oh, that was so rough. All right, I'm just gonna keep chucking Ultra Balls at this thing because I don't really have any anything better to do. It's it's losing health rapidly with this poison that I put it on. Oh my god, um, that's so busted! I don't think I'm gonna catch it. That's oh so dumb. Did you know Manaphy learns Whirlpool oh, by Level yeah. Up, right? It died. What? It, it, wait, it learns not Waterfall. You said no. Just it Whirlpool. learns Whirlpool by Level Up. 
And it, it, even it though it learns it by level up, it is still considered an HM, so you cannot delete it. No way. Are you kidding? What? That makes no sense. Gosh dang it. I really don't want to bring... I really don't want to teach this move to any of my Pokemon right now. Ah, uh, shoot. Is the move deleter somewhere accessible, or do you not get the move deleter until Kanto? Do you know? I do not know off the top of my head, not gonna lie. I, I, I'm gonna look it up before I do something stupid. Pokemon Soul Silver. Okay, uh, move deleter. Yeah, let me know where it is, too. Yeah, um, okay. So I'm gonna need it for Oh, this. yeah, so it, it is in Blackthorn City. So, that's fine. I can, I can delete this move. Um, actually, no, I can't. That's okay, it's a bad move anyway. Yeah, that's not even a good move to have. That's fine. Never mind. But yeah, there, so we do have access to it. We can always, once we get to the, uh, Elite Four, we can always fly back to the move deleter if need be, and then go back and forth, so... Actually, oh god, there's also, can also we? Charizards in here. I think so. Oh, maybe not, because yeah, once you're in Kanto... I don't know oh, if you shoot. can fly back to Johto. Uh, well, I mean, you okay. can go back, but like... Yeah. The move I got rid of isn't even one I was planning on using anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Ooh, dang, there was, there was Metagross and Charizards in here as well. I, Any one of these. That's Pokemon. hilarious. Oh. I had Metagross in there, too. That's funny. All right. Uh, but my Metagross wasn't my encounter, I don't think. Dang, that would have been that would have been scary if you got oh, that. Oh, what was my I encounter? Would... My encounter? I had my encounter in last... It was a legendary. Um, oh, oh, there's a Palkia. Oh, boy. Hello, Palkia. What legend was it? Aqua Tail... Um, I honestly don't work. I remember in the other cave you had a Gear Dialga, or a Giratina. That was a while back, though. Yeah, it was a Giratina. Oh, was it a Dialga? It might have been a Dialga in that cave. Possibly. I know you. I think you have gotten the chance to catch all of them. That's hilarious. Oh, this lady gives you a TM. That's pretty cool. What lady? In the what? Right when you go through, like up and over the first falls and you come out the other side and there's that trainer there's a house and a lady in there gives you a tm Ooh, good to know pretty, might have to go back pretty cool um you might not have wanted to tell me that i don't know who has tms yeah. but yeah Ooh. that might have been a that might have been a bad Wait, who won the cage who won my last cage match oh licky 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 does have tms oh yeah you did i couldn't remember yeah you gave it the tms not the held items I think I did at least. Shell. Shell gone, get crushed. Ooh, how do you get that item down there? I'll take all the experience that I can get. Not a bad item. PP Max, not a bad item. Haha, <laughs> PP Max. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Still no new route. Thank god it's not a new route. I do not want a worm pull. Worm pull <laughs> with drought. Yeah. Wow. Oh boy. Hey, can, can set up the sun at least. I just got a PP max and then a PP up. Oh, all about the PP. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so this, yeah, still not a new route. Oh wow, there's legendaries everywhere. Hello. Yeah, route 27's got to be one of the longest routes there is. Yeah, it truly is. Yeah, I hate when a Pokemon just spams indoor and like it like can sometimes land indoor like you know multiple yeah. times in a row and then it just doesn't die. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's like uh, Burmese. Burmese are the king of landing multiple protects. Yeah, seriously. It's weird. It's like just them. They have like a special ability where like protect works better for them. <laughs> I don't know. Honest, honestly, that would be a cool ability. Ooh, that like, yeah, increase the chances of landing multiple protects. That would be really good in VGC, like it, in double battles. Yeah, and not it, even just protects, like just increases the chance of, of like moves that don't have, like have that thing of where you can't use it yeah. once in a row. Yeah, this is true. That'd be that would be, if it was on a good Pokemon, I could definitely see it being, uh, being useful. Again, depending on like the situation, of course, but. It would be great on a Mon that learns Toxic. Oh, yeah. A bulky Mon with Toxic or something. Yeah. 
So just like in general, because that would just mean it would have to increase accuracy in general because... Um, no, uh, protect, a uh, second protect is not based on accuracy. Yeah, but toxic is. Toxic is just based on, it's just a 90% accurate move. I don't think toxic accuracy goes down based on how many times you use it. No, but I'm just saying, imagine like it has the capability oh, of I, toxic I see. to okay. toxic stall. <laughs> so you toxic, and protect. you toxic them and on, then, and then you oh, use protect. Oh, got it. And have a higher chance of it. Oh, that would be dirty. That would be so dirty. That'd be so dirty. Oh my gosh. That would be insane, actually. <laughs> but like you said, that would be great for VGC. Yeah, seriously. Just well, be able to like hit multiple protects in certain situations. Like wide guard and stuff? Yeah, oh boy. That would be busted. That would be sick nonetheless, though. Yeah. And it would just be cool, because, like, it's just... I like when they come up with new stuff, because, like, you know, they, they, they don't u always come out with, like, new abilities. But it, that's one of my favorite things about, like, new generations of Pokemon is just having, like, new abilities and new new moves and new Pokemon that just kind of shake things up, you know? Yeah. But uh, That's what's great about Pokemon. Yeah. Always changing, for sure. This DLC is... It's out of the blue. It's not like Pokemon. So, like, we could be seeing, potentially, new Mons... Um, out oh yeah, they've already yeah, already announced a f like the the new fighting Pokemon, like the new like legendary. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but we could even see more than that. Um, this you, is true. Did you see the like the leak type of thing? I did not. I I didn't look at the leaks. All that I've looked at was like the official stuff that was released back when they first announced it. Well, it's not really a leak. It's more of a rumor. It's like a Pokemon oh, Home okay. leak. Uh, I'm not gonna oh. go too much into it. Like, I'm not gonna reveal like what the actual names are. But it's not even Pokemon. Yeah. It's not Pokemon that leaked. Um, okay. There is a was leak it, yeah. from the Pokemon Home data mining that there's gonna be 25 new moves. New forms? No, new Sorry. moves. New moves. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. Yeah. And like, one of the reasons why people are believing this is because one of them is, uh. Zerud's new move, Jungle Healing. They're, that would be cool. I mean, they, they've already announced that there's going to be a bunch of new, like, Galarian forms. Yeah. Like, obviously, Galarian Slowpoke, and they announced, like, Galarian... Uh, or they, they hinted at Galarian uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. So, imagine every new Galarian form gets, like, a couple new moves, or one new move, and then plus the new legendaries. Like, yeah, that's awesome. And we don't even know how many new Galarian forms there's going to be. Like, it hasn't even been confirmed, so... yeah. There could be there could be a lot potentially. One thing about that, though, like I do think the birds are Galorian forms. However, yes. those they showed some Reggies too. I don't think the Reggies they, are Galorian forms. I think they might be completely new Pokemon as well. I, I, if that's what you're hinting exactly. at, like that's kind of what I think. Exactly, oh, yeah. Because it's called a Carnivine. Because they only showed two Reggies. Mm. And they don't look similar enough to any of the previous Reggie forms to be considered, in my opinion, Galarian forms. Yeah. And I, I honestly think it would be cooler if they were brand new Pokemon because the Reggies, like, you know, they represent different types like rock, ice, and steel and stuff. So it would be, I think it would be cooler, in my opinion, if they, if they were like brand new, like, yeah, Reggie, I don't know. Yeah. Reggie fire. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's whatever. Kind of like Eevee with all the different types. Yeah, it would be yeah. really sick. Like what? I, I think one of them one of them seemed to be like a Reggie Electric. Yeah, that from from what I saw, that's what it looked like. It kind of, see, Blue. I'm getting electric vibes, but I'm also getting bug vibes from it. Like it looks like it could Ooh. be an electric and bug type. That would be pretty sick. That's a good typing. That is you know, good. Galvantula. Yeah. Galvantula is like one of my favorite Pokémon, honestly. Oh, so fast and stuff. I love it. It is. It's fast, it's powerful, plus getting access, like, to, like, compound eyes, so it can just be, like, really powerful with thunder and not miss, which is really nice. Yeah. And then sticky webs for singles and stuff. Like, there's so many different ways you can use it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. I'm really pumped for the DLC. We got to start making... I got to start uh, making the team of people for the stats. Yes. For, um... Oh, really? This is my mon? <laughs> is this your Route 26 encounter? Yeah, it's a freaking Mantike. Oh, mine was a Carnivine. 
a worse grass type than the one I already have, so. Uh, but Carnivine is one of those Pokemon. Do you ever like have those Pokemon where you just completely forget they exist sometimes until you see them? <laughs> yes, because you were talking about Carnivine, Carnivine, and I was thinking like, Tacnia. Exactly, like. It's, a, it's weird because there's like multiple uh, cactus Pokemon with Maractus, Carnivine, and... Well, Carnivine's actually not a cactus. It's uh, what are this? The Venus Flytraps. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it's just... It's a, it's a mod that like doesn't get used very often. I honestly don't remember the last time it was available to catch in the wild. Like, I don't even think... You, I don't know if you could catch it in, in Sun and Moon in the wild or not. But... Either way, mm. like, it's, especially now with Sword and Shield just having, like, 400 Pokemon, some of the Pokemon that aren't in, in Sword and Shield that I haven't used in, like, at least a year or so, it's like, I'm starting to forget them, because, like, it's sad, but I just haven't used them in a while. <laughs> yeah. And in light of this, I'm going to name this Mantike Forgetful. Forgetful. Because <laughs> I always forget it exists. Is that one of the names of the Seven Dwarfs, Forgetful, or is... Or am I, am I mis mis no, I don't... There's Grouchy. I don't think so. Is, there, is Grouchy yeah. one? No. Grumpy. I'm blanking on Grumpy. Grumpy. Gr there's Doc. There Grumpy. Yep. Um. Sne sneezy. Sneezy. Maybe. Sleepy. Yeah. Uh. Grumpy. <laughs> sneezy. Sleepy. I'm blank. We got most of them, but it's dopey. It's been a while since. So dope. Ah, yes. Headbutt. I was hoping to get maybe a headbutt encounter on these trees. I forgot. I don't think headbutt encounters work in this game. Uh, oh yeah. We'll see. Good. Nope, because it's a lady butt. <laughs> oh, you got it? <laughs> yeah, unlike this, the third headbutt, surprisingly, I actually got an encounter. But it was a lady butt. Oh my butt. god, I tried for so long and I just couldn't get it. <laughs> I got the luck with me. Apparently. Uh, oh gosh, this person's got a Metagross. Can't handle a Metagross. Um, uh, my team doesn't look great against the Metagross. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Uh, like might need to pick one up. Like I can handle it. I'm a high enough level with everybody, but like, ooh, it actually has an interesting ability. It's got. It's actually not good. It's not a good ability. It's got color change in my ROM, which isn't great because then you just hit it with a move and you, like the opponent can ch change its type. Um, which is pretty, that's pretty like a bad ability. Cause it, yeah, like I said, it gives the opponent the option of like changing your type, yeah. which again could really backfire for you. I mean, it's great for like a choice band. Like I, I can see some VGC competitive use to it for like a choice band. If somebody comes in with a choice band and they like, yeah, they like hit you with a rock move. Now you're a rock type and they're locked. And into now rock you're resi moves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's definitely certain situations in which it could be useful. Now, if they hit you with a dragon type move, you're screwed. Or a ghost, or a ghost type. Yeah, those like the ones that are weak to themselves, bad. But the ones that resist themselves, good. All right, so I have just made it into the victory road, and again, now I'm realizing I should have brought an HM Pokemon because like now I'm gonna have to teach another HM to another Pokemon. Ugh. Kill, 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 kill. Sweet. Um, actually, this is not a bad move to have. What's that? Um, strength. I can give strength to Arceus, and, like, it's not bad, obviously, being a stab normal type move for Arceus. I don't think that's a good idea. The thing is, Arceus already has extreme speed, which is the same power, but with priority. So, ugh, I have to get rid of another is move. Is extreme speed the same? I thought it was 100 base. Uh, 100 accuracy. No, they're the exact same power. Uh, they're both 80 base power with 100 accuracy. Hmm. Um, extreme speed's much better because it just has priority, and strength has nothing outside in battle that it gives you. Uh, do I want to get rid of this move? Oh. Mm, this is tough. This is tough. I'm, mm, all right, I did it. Is there an actual victory road in this? Like, is there a cave? Yeah, I'm in the cave right now. Actually, oh, there's an encounter in this cave. This is a new cave, yeah, because when you go into it, it's a new encounter. Ah, Exeggutor. What is with all these grass types? Please, can't get any give him more. All I can get is grass types, apparently. Good. That's all I'm allowed to catch. Charizard's going to come in and wreck your grass type team. 
except for my Arceus and my uh, Palkia will handle it. Cloister and my Raikou. My Raikou, though. That's funny. I've had, I've had a chance to catch the entire trio, uh, being Palkia, Dialga, yeah. and uh, Giratina. Um, that would have been crazy. And then if, you got if I had all time. of those and you had the their god though, <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> I I control your Pokemon. What if they just like stopped listening to you when I sent out Arceus? <laughs> like they just like they listened to me. Okay. I didn't know if I was going to say this or not, but I'm actually going to say this because I think it would be cool for the actual cage lock if you wanted to do it. Um, there's an event in this game. Wait, what? That is super rare. Um, it is super rare because it has to do with Arceus. And okay. Arceus was uh very limited on how you can get it back in the day right it was through yeah, the diamond was, and you yeah. had to get it through diamond and pearl i think there was another game that you can get it through uh and it was by event only which wasn't a public event released worldwide it was in certain yeah. locations at toys r us yeah well okay um if you get that arceus bring it into this game there's an event at the ruins that you could actually do and go to Arceus Ruins and do this entire thing where you can get the chance to e either catch Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina. Oh. So it would be a okay. brand new legend for you. And, um. Yeah. But, like, it's not guaranteed to be one of those three. Right. But it can be randomized to any legend. Yeah. So yeah. if that's something you want to look at in between recordings to maybe do. Yeah. Um, we could definitely potentially do that. And, you well, know, it would be kind of fun you could to, uh. I can't. I don't have Arceus. Oh, you have to have actually have... Ar okay, I thought it was something that, like... Oh, I you see. You actually have to have Arceus, and that's one of the reasons why nobody I knows see. about this thing. Like, this... Th there's actually, like, an entire cutscene in it. Where it uses wow. real-life images, apparently. What? Like, I saw it through a YouTube video. I've never actually experienced it myself. Um, but, yeah. I'll definitely have to look into that. So if you wanted That's to do that at the beginning of next episode. Potentially. I think maybe it would be something fun to do, like, after the, after, like, when we go to Kanto, like, in between, like, after we do the final, you know, the final uh, Johto fight after the Elite Four. I'm I think okay it'd be something fun to, like, add to my team before, like, the final, final fight. I'm okay I don't with think that. I would, yeah, I think I'd want to save it for later. Maybe, because, you know, if I lose a good Pokemon, I could replace it, maybe. I have to reset my game because I got the black screen. Oh, black screen. Yeah. All right, and we're back. I was gonna put a repel on though because these these wild Pokemon get so annoying. I only just got in the cave. Okay. Yeah, I like I've only made it like a couple hundred steps because I keep running into a Pokemon like every two seconds. Oh, that makes some sense. Upgrade. Upgrade. I think that's... I have no idea where I'm going to, so I'm just, like, running around aimlessly right now. Oh, don't Clicking A. Clicking A on everything, trying to find hidden items. I bet you that's a hidden item. It was a hidden item. Like, there's, like, certain places, you know, in, like, Pokemon games, you're like, there's, like, there's no reason this would exist unless there was a hidden item at the end of this. Like, yeah. you know, these random dead-end paths... But they trick After you, because there are some... Oh, I got a crit, and I killed the Shellgon. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, we both could have had a Shellgon. Was that your encounter? Yeah. Dang. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Oh, my okay. second encounter was an Umbreon. That would have been so sick. Oh, dang. Well, I just realized, this is one of the very few um, games... That you do not have a Pokemon Center outside Victory Road. Really? Oh, yeah. There is a house, though. There's a house that heals you. Yeah, it's further down. I don't feel like going all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit out of the way. How the heck? Wait, how do I... I, I could have had in... another... I could have had a chance at a Rayquaza. Dang. If I had a Cap chance at that, that's a guaranteed capture because I still have my Master Ball. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. I would have used it. Yeah, because Deoxys teleported because oh, yeah. I didn't want to use my Master Ball. I didn't think it would have teleport still. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Yeah, if you run into a legendary encounter, it's, you got a guaranteed legend. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't know what le level the uh, Elite Four is. I'm just kind of hoping with the grinding I did that I have high enough levels. Yeah, I might have to check out these levels before, uh, before, yeah, and have we to... might have to do a little bit of a grind session before. Here, let me look it up because I'm a little bit ahead still. I'm, I think I'm almost at the end of the cave, honestly. Um, Park Gold Elite Four. Um... Okay, honestly, not that bad. I'm at, Because of the grinding I did already, I mean, you might need to grind a little bit, but it wouldn't take you long because the highest level is the champion. Lance is level 50. They're between level 40 and level 50. They get higher, obviously, every trainer. Um, I might just... But the highest level yeah, in the entire... The highest level is what? Entire thing is 50. Is a, is a level 50 normally Dragonite with Lance. But, I might just grind so, my entire team up to level 56, just to, uh, 46, just to be safe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you want, if you wanted to even get closer to 50, you know, you could too. Because my, I have like my Raikou's 51, and then I have Agron and Hypno and Cloyster at 47 right now. So yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. I, if you want, and we could do a quick little grind, which would probably be a good idea. It might, it might indeed. Oh gosh. I thought I was almost at the end of this cave, but now I realize I have no idea where I'm going. Same. <laughs> I'm just running around. It's okay. I'll, we'll figure it out. I came this way because I thought it would be the wrong way and I'd get items. <laughs> Alright, actually, I think this might be the exit coming up. There might be a rival battle coming up too, which... Actually, I think you have to have a rival battle before you could actually leave. Yeah, I think you. you know, that's normally how it is in most games. Ooh, the Draco plate. Um, pretty much, it's like whenever you see a hole, just jump down the hole. That's kind of what I'm getting. Is like, have you gotten to the point where there's like holes yet? Uh, I've only jumped down one hole. Okay, yeah. They're pretty much all where you're supposed to go, from what I can tell. So. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's a lot of Wismer in these caves for me. Mm. Oh, I see an exit. Right. I see the exit. Wait, I think, wait a minute, I think I went in a circle. I feel like I was here already, gosh dang it. Oh boy. Yeah, I think one of the holes tricked you. Uh, wait, nope, nope, this is the exit. Yep, I found the exit, okay. I'm battling the rival. He does come up to you right before you leave the cave, so make sure you're healed up when you see the entrance. Yeah, I'm pretty much healed. <laughs> okay, cool. There all is right. no trainers in here. Wow. No. They're all... It's kind of interesting. There's all trainers leading up to the cave, and then there's... In the cave, it's just a bunch of Pokemon, which I kind of like that, honestly. Well, this was the first Victory Road, wasn't it? Because I don't think in... Uh, in Red and Blue, there was no Victory... Was there a Victory Road cave? I think there is. Because I know you have the gates, but I thought after the gates it was nothing. Maybe maybe there isn't. Maybe, yeah, you're right. I think you are right. Huh. I, feel like I, could... I actually... Oh, no, there is. There is. Okay. I think. I'm pretty sure there is now. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't know either. I feel like there could be, but I could also be thinking about Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Right. They all start to blend together in my head. Yeah, like all the 3DS games blend together. All the uh, fourth gen blend together. Yeah. Not 3DS, um, Game Boy, man. All right, good, that was enough. Gosh. Dude, Water Spout is such a scary move. <laughs> Do you have it? Like, no, no. I was fighting a Whale Lord that has it. And, you know, if, they, if I, like, was to hit it and it was to survive on, like, one HP, oh, my gosh. I think I already lost a Pokemon that way in in this series. It was either this one or the Rival Lock, but I definitely lost a Pokemon to Water Spout. I think Rival. At one point. Yeah. It's, it's, that's no good. Oh, I don't have Rock Smash. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that either. All you, luckily all you need is strength to get through the cave. Yeah. Um, I think I can take down this Tyranitar with one more attack. 
Alright, alright. I just it's walked through battle. my Palkia. Like a boss. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, after this rival battle, I think that's gonna be time. Yeah. Yeah. I have just finished up with mine. I'm gonna see what's right outside the cave. I don't... Yeah, is there, an, is there an encounter? Because if there's an encounter, then let's grab that before we stop. Yeah, let's see. Um, Indigo Plateau. No, it's just it's just the walkway up to the Elite Four. So we're here, dude. We're pretty much here. So this is our last chance. We can take a minute to... We'll figure out... We'll, we'll probably grind a little bit uh, in between. Yeah, uh, I'm just battling him. Four. Yeah, for sure. I'm also going to... While you're doing that, I'm going to stock up on items, like healing items and such. Yeah. Good idea. Um, full heal. I'm gonna buy like ten more of those. So what are we doing for the final fight? Is it? Yeah, we should make a decision. Okay. Um. I mean, like, I don't. I personally am fine with us bringing any mon from our box as well. Okay. Um. That's cool with me. But I would say same. But again, if a mon does die in the elite four. Yeah, like, you're obviously not allowed to bring it. It's dead in the Allowed to well. bring that. Yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to bring that mon. Um, but but again, if we want to bring something from the box, I think just like keeping it like how we have all the other cage matches that way too. I don't think that really makes that big of a difference. I'm okay with that. Cause I, and it, I like the unpredictability of it too. Like there could be some hidden weapons that either of us have, and I like yep. the I like I like that aspect of it for sure. So. All right, I'm okay with that. I, I think I'm good with that. Cool. All right, yeah. All right. So that's oh, going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did yes. enjoy. You got any final words to say? No. This, thanks, guys, for watching this one. And get hyped for the next one because we're taking on the Elite Four. And then after we do the Elite Four, it's going to be 66. Uh, yeah. Cage final match fight. Time. I'm ex yeah. Final fight. The first final fight. I'm excited. All righty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to catch the next episode on Wednesday on Kyogre's channel. Um, you heard it. But yeah, this time this one's actually gonna go up tomorrow. I prompt uh, on time. This one's gonna go up on, on Monday. Time. There we go. Sounds good. Alrighty. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay salty. Peace.